Figma Buzz lets teams create on-brand assets with the power of Figma design and the ease of use that makes it easy for anyone to create anything. Figma Buzz is part of the Figma platform and everyone who has access to Buzz also has free access to FigJam for whiteboarding and Figma Slides for presenting to their teams. Figma Design will still be the go-to tool for professional designers, and Buzz offers a purpose-built creation tool for everyone else. In Buzz, you can create assets of any size and format with building blocks to get started, an easy editing experience, and seamless collaboration with your designers. Let's take a look. Start by going to figma.com and selecting Create New Buzz. Here, you'll be able to search or browse templates to find a good starting point for your content. You can either choose a community template, a template from your team, or start from scratch. Select one to get started. Whether you're starting from a buzz template or from scratch, you enter freeform editing mode where you can make whatever changes you need to create your design. No matter how you start, you don't need to start from scratch in buzz. You have templates, inserts, and also your team's design libraries available to quickly pull in styled text, along with logos, icons, illustrations, and anything else your team has saved in your Figma library. Buzz is also powered by the latest AI models to allow you to generate images using your own inputs and making it specific to the graphic you need. As you create, you can click on an object to edit it, and you have easy toolbar to make quick changes to colors, fonts, formatting effects, and more. If you are creating content that needs to stay on brand every time, you can use focus editing. Start by opening the templates and going to your team. You can browse through the available layouts and select the one that matches the one you need to create. When starting from your team's templates, you default to focus editing, which limits what you can edit so you don't need to worry about breaking the design. These editing restrictions are based on your brand team's guidance so you can stay on brand. You can use the edit content panel to easily swap out the defined copy or images in the asset by typing in the fields and selecting new images. And in just a few seconds, you have your customized asset. If you do need to make changes to the layout or design, you can remove the editing restrictions to bring it back to freeform editing. You can create as many assets as you need in a single buzz file, including assets of different sizes and formats. To see all the assets, you can switch from single asset view to grid view, which gives you the big picture of your campaign or creations. In grid view, you can drag the assets around or reorder them, and also drag them up and down to create groups of assets which you can rename to provide additional organization. If you need to create multiple assets with the same layout, such as badges for an upcoming event, you can use bulk create. Here you'll select the source of your data, such as an export from a spreadsheet or other data source. If you want to add images, you can add images in cells in tools like Google Sheets and then export into an XLS format to import into Buzz. Once you have the data selected, you can then map each column from your data to the relative layer in your asset or assets. Once all of the relevant fields are mapped here, then click Create Assets. Buzz will take the selected data and create an asset for each row of your data. You can see all of the assets in grid view and then make any additional edits needed. For teams that want to use focus editing and bulk create, you can publish your templates in Buzz. Designers can simply copy their frames or components from Figma Design and paste it into Buzz. Your template file needs to be in a shared team and project. Once you have your template assets ready, click Share and then Publish Template. Once the template is published, your team will be able to see it in the template picker and start using it to create new content. For more details and template best practices, check out our other video here. Those are the basics for creating assets in Figma Buzz. It's currently free for anyone to use in open beta, and it will be available in a new content seat when it launches later this year. Try it out today. We can't wait to see the buzzworthy assets you'll create. Happy creating!